zile 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 yo aler kal mile 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 Hello. Good day everyone. Good day mga palangga. My topic to be discussed today is about the ICT utilization and new normal education. So this is your host. And this is my YouTube channel, Bomber M. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, for our objectives. Objective 1. Gain awareness of learning delivery under the new normal situation. Objective 2. Create a solid and accountable ICT support system for the conduct and implementation of ICT policies and standards. Objective 3. Utilize the different TIPED official platforms in teaching, learning, and governance. Okay, so from the objectives that I mentioned a while ago, I divided it into five topics. So one is the importance of ICT, the DPED online systems, the Google utilities, the Google Drive for safe file and storage, and the DPED online platforms. Okay, so let us go now to our first topic, which is the importance of ICT. First, what is ICT? It is information and communication technologies so it means it includes all the gadgets we use in getting information and in communication technologies all deal with the transmission and reception of information the best example of this are the cell phones laptop of course the internet which are commonly used by the people around the globe in the absence of these things, we felt that there is something lacking in us. We should admit that ICT is already part of our lives. My forever talaga sa ICT. So ICT is one of the economic development pillars to gain national competitive and advantage. How about in education? What is the importance of ICT in education? So ICT can provide a newer quicker and better information to the people. Since we are now in our information age era, we can acquire new knowledge and information. Example, we will be updated with the current news since there is already an online newspaper. In just the tip of our fingers, we can acquire fresh information. In using ICT, people also can interact create network, seek help, and gain access, and learn from using ICT. We still can get connected to our family, relatives, and colleagues, even if they are in other countries, through emails, messengers, and video calls, even in the bank. Banks now, or most of the banks, are now offering online banking. Before I proceed, if you have LIS concerns, you can send email to that email address appear on screen. If you have also your DPED email problems, you can also send a private message to our division planning officer. So let us go now to our next topic, which is the Google Utilities. So here is our Google account. If you can see that there is a uh, nine dots there at the upper right side of your screen. So you have to click that and then it will appear the Google Utilities. And if you scroll it down, after scrolling it down, you can see more 
Google Utilities. So there are still lots from Google's. So you are going to click more from Google. So after click, you can see more Google Utilities. So there goes the Android Auto, or Android OS, Android TV, Calendar, Cardboard, Chrome, Chrome Enterprise, Chromebook, and many more. So let us scan more Google. So there are a lot more from Google. We can see there Google Classroom, Google Duo, Google Expedition, Google Family Link, Google Fi, Google Files, Google Find My Device, Google Fit, Google Flight, Google Fonts, Google Groups, Google Home App, Google Input Tools, Google Lens, Google Meet, and Google One. So there are lots more. So what happened? Google Input Tools, Google Play, Google Play Games, Google Shop. And here is another set of other Google Utilities. I know that some of these are already familiar to us. Now, let us review some Google Utilities which we are commonly used. Can you, can you guess that one? So that is the Google Spreadsheet. How about that one? It is... The Google Forms, which is sometimes used in some paangat programs in their attendance. That one is the Google Docs, the Google Meet, the Gmail, of course, that is the Google Drive, and this one is our YouTube. Let us go now to our Google Mail or known as the Gmail. This is the updated icon for our Gmail. So the question is how to use the Gmail? There are lots of questions comes into your mind especially for the beginners. That will be the topic I will be sharing to you. Okay, so here in our Google search engine, we are going to type our www.gmail.com to open our Gmail. Okay, so we are going to put it in our Google search bar. And then, after that, it will appear like this in our screen. So, we are going to click that gmail or the google so we are going to click that after that then you will see that gmail icon then we'll wait until the loading of the gmail is done and there you go that this is gmail so we have here our inbox Okay, so let us make sure that we are using the most current Gmail inbox so that it is, it should be updated. And now I opened one of the mails in my inbox. It is from YT. Yes, it is from YT featuring my membership to admin Mariamela Colibar. Shout out, Madam Admin. I am so thankful to know you. To join the group chat is a big help for me. As a busy person, I don't have much time to spend in the Paangat programs. Of course, also to my BFF, Jalor, who introduced me to Madam Admin, Mariamela. Jalor also encouraged me to continue my YT journey in times that I already discouraged and decided to quit. Shout out to the two of you, Madam Admin Mariamela Colibar and my BFF Jalor. And of course, thank you so much to all of you guys, my legit friends. Even though we don't have regular communication, I just sometimes reading your conversation. But sometimes I am shy to interact with you guys. Thank you so much for the support. <laughs> Feeling money na talaga. Okay, I'm still so far. I'm still too far to the finish line, but still fighting.
I'm sorry guys, I became sentimental. Let's get back to our so let's get back to our topic which is the Gmail or the Google Mail. So if you want to compose a new message, so click the compose. So it is in the upper left corner of the page. So after you click that compose, then it will prompt a new message in the window at the lower right side of Okay, so there it comes, our new message window. So we are going to type the email address of our recipient. So in that box. If you want to add another person, so you are going to just press tab in your laptop so if you want to cc or bcc a person click cc or bcc right there and then enter the person's email address what is cc or bcc cc means carbon copy and bcc means blind carbon copy Okay, so after entering the email address of our recipient, so we are going to enter our subject. So subject must be two to three words only. So it should not be like a paragraph. And then type whatever you want to use for the email subject. Okay, after entering the subject, so you are now to enter your email's body text. So this is the large uh, email's body text. So you can type also whatever message you want to send to your result. Okay, so after creating your email, after typing your email to your recipient, so you can add formatting or attachments to your email. So you can easily change the appearance of your message, text, or attach a file or upload a photo. Okay, so just click down there. After that, you are now ready to send your message. So what are you going to do is to just click send. So where is that send button? So it is located at the bottom of your new message window so if you click that message or if you click that send button so your email will be sent to the specified recipient so after clicking that send button so you are going to wait until your email is successfully sent to the recipient so before i end let me the quotes from Brian Herbert. The capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. And the willingness to learn is a choice. I would like also to share to you one of my favorite verse from the book. Okay, so there it goes. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, Rightly dividing the word of truth. From 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, King James Version. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Thank you for watching. May you have learned something from this video. So this is again Bomar M. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So that you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much guys again. Bye bye.